Welcome back. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we are so proud of Price Cutter for being the presenting sponsor of the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer uh, campaign this year and the walk, that, which is happening October 22nd. We have an amazing photo sent to us from Pyramid Foods, which is the parent company of Price Cutter and Country Mart and King Cash Shaver and, you know, all the great stores that you shop at. Look at that team, all supporting breast cancer awareness. That makes me so happy that right looks there. Great. Yes. Good looking people right there, all doing good for the community. We and Make sure you sign up for the walk on October 22nd. It's the second year that uh, Price Cutter will be the presenting sponsor, and it's going to be a great time on Saturday, the 22nd, out at Hammonds Field. So, you guys look amazing. Yes, you look amazing. So Thanks good. For doing that. You know who else looks amazing? Yeah. Travis Burks. Oh. Thank you. You're so welcome. <laughs> you, do. you do. And I love that you've brought some show me beef, all local, and it's kind of like meat that we identify with fall, like oh, that yeah. hearty, oh, yeah. comforting, Stews, uh -huh. yes. roast, that kind of thing. And the weather supported that this morning, yes. mm -hmm. weekend, which is nice. Yeah. It's nice to see a change. It is. That's for sure. So we'll change our eating habits as well, hopefully. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, some stuff we could start with today, uh, obviously, with the local, with mm -hmm. show me beef. Mm -hmm. So I kind of wanted to break it down just a little bit. So the chuck roast there that's in the front. The, this one? The roast. The, this oh, okay, there we go. Sorry. So that's in our ad this week for $5.99. Wow. Now, with that particular muscle of merchandise is out quite a bit. So um, behind it, there's some stew meat to oh, your, in yeah. your right hand. Mm -hmm. That would come out of that same product, as well as something that some people are familiar with and some weren't. So we like to educate mm -hmm. a little yeah. bit. So these steaks here in the front, those are called the chuck eye steak. Those okay. do come off of the first few cuts of the chuck. Okay. So it's that part is actually att attached to the ribeye when it's actually all one piece. So wait, is this, it's this here. one up here in the front. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry, sorry about that, Adam. This one is what you're talking about. Okay, gotcha. Phenom they have great flavor. Uh -huh. They stay, they stay uh, fairly moist. They don't dry out with that uh, internal marbling. Mm -hmm. It's really good. So if you ever see those, give them a try. Okay, mm -hmm. so you just cook those on. Um, chuck eye steak. You could cook those like a ribeye. Like okay, gotcha. Like oh. anything else you would. All right, would well, what is this one? Those are uh, bone-in beef short ribs okay. oh. Can I so, just, oh go ahead yeah. you can you can get those several ways I've got I had them cut them up into squares because that's something you could just put into a crock pot or like a Dutch yeah. oven mm -hmm. and make yourself some kind of beef stew that way with oh. the bone and marrow and everything I love beef well. stew you know you gotta beef it. up for the winter right yeah. you, you can leave them that. longer um, and then just grill them or smoke them there's several different ways you could do that as I well. love it I love stew yes, so much mm, it's hearty fun, fun different fall items and then just uh, another item there so if you're wanting to do some steaks tonight to watch some Chiefs uh, football. Yeah. T bones are in the ad, so we still got the grilling options with uh, with that as well. So make sure you take advantage Good of that. Good flavor right there. You know, so funny, Trav. I still associate steaks with like wealth. Oh. But with the Show Me Beef program, price yes. cutter, anybody can afford it. Because we're growing up, right. like if we had a steak dinner, that was a that was special a yeah. occasion. But with the prices you guys have, you could have it anytime. That. Yeah. Yeah. Which is so great. You have steak five days and seafood two. Oh, that's See? true. That is there true. There you go. Get your seafood yes. Or uh -huh. at the same time. We oh. can afford this now. We ate a lot of hamburger growing up, you and I both. I ate a lot of hot dogs. I, yeah, <laughs> and bologna. Yeah. yeah. And this was, we'll talk about what's here in the middle. So there are a couple of options in the meat department where the chili's already prepared, so all you're doing is just oh. warming that up. If you're oh. just wanting like a small portion. Um, of course, everybody likes to make their traditional way where you just start with all the ingredients and dump it in and let it simmer. Right. So there's a couple of options there, one with beans, one without. So that's um, a big sauce. deal. Some yeah. people prefer them without. Very much. I like it with beans. Yeah, we always made it. With, I like with the different beans. textures you yeah. got to mm -hmm. it. And then there in the front here uh, with Jen's sloppy Joe, it's mm -hmm. already already made and ready to go and fully cooked. So you have to do throw it in the microwave, is that what you which made I for did us? make here. Yeah. And then the taco meat next to it is another one. Oh. Throw it in the microwave. You have tacos and. Two minutes, uh, and that's one of my favorite. That's very good. And that I've bought that taco yeah. meat a million times. When I don't feel like making yeah. it, I just plop yeah. that it's in, and it's amazing. perfect. You'd be surprised at how good that is for being a prepacked full yeah. product. Yeah. Do you want us to try these, Trevor? No. If you want to, you go for it. And I'm I can, so glad that you I can said continue yes, to talk about really this. Here. I just want to see what it. So I just oh, do the sloppy joe. This is the sloppy joe, joe and it's going to. Oh, it's going to be sloppy for a reason. Okay, here we go. So enjoy. So we'll go down a little bit farther with the prairie fresh pork. There is a few items that are in the ad this week. With a there's a dollar forty nine. Uh, twin pack pork butts. So I wanted to be able to show the variance of what you could do with that. So you could go with a bone-in mm -hmm. pork shoulder and or the boneless. Two other options, yeah. whatever you wanted to do. Country style ribs, which is the behind there, another crock pot item. Yes. So all those items there are something you could just throw in the crock pot. Mm, I love that. Um, Sounds good. Go that way or an oven bag or whatever you wanted to do mm -hmm. there. Boneless pork loin there in the front. Um, those are items we've done on the show before, and mm -hmm. we've cut the whole piece. Right. That would be the roast end of that. So that so can go could, in the crock pot, too? You can put that in the crock pot. Okay. You can put it in the oven. You can put it in the bag. You could smoke it, whatever you wanted to do. Mm. Um, and then on down a little farther with uh, the Prairie Fresh Signature line. Mm -hmm. These are um, 
pork shoulders that are already marinated. Yum. So you simply like just take them out of the bag based on the theme you would want, which would be like this is a carne asada. So if you want to do street tacos oh, or, or anything nice. like that, this oh, I love that. For that. Yeah. There's a rotisserie flavor, which is really good. Yeah. Um, and then this um, honey sriracha, which kind of gives it a sweet spice. I like that. That is that's probably going to be my favorite, yeah, too. That's my favorite. Yeah. Uh, that's just as simple as there's two options on that. Mm -hmm. I wish there was an air fryer one. That'd be I know, that'd be awesome. But there's a, one's a pressure cook one, mm -hmm. which gives you the directions on the back for that. And then in the oven, and they're based on, they're about 55 to an hour per pound. These are two and a half okay. mm. exact weights. So you're looking at a couple hours in the, in the, in the oven or the crock pot, however you want to do that. I like that. So everything that's you nice. brought is in your flyer. Yes. Is that right? Yep, except for these items here. Okay. Those are just some different items I thought I would bring that yeah. maybe people forget about sometimes, the yeah. stuff that's already Again, fully prepared, all you have to do is warm it up. Yeah, you guys have got so many things. This makes me think already seasoned. You guys do that too with lots of hamburger mm, patties right. and mm -hmm. everything. I just love mm -hmm. all the different mm -hmm. things that you do. It, yeah. it's, it, it changes it up a little bit, yeah, and, sure. but it's delicious. Yeah, absolutely. And some other items you could do with that taco meat and that sloppy joe. So if you wanted to save some time and do stuffed peppers, oh, oh. Like that, you can make, go ahead and make your rice. I, make those. I, I, make rice, I make those a lot, yeah. And then just take, you could. You could use the sloppy joe, probably wouldn't be the closest. That's one. a great idea. Um, and then just mix it together, put in the peppers. Yeah. Kelly, do you taste a little bit of sweetness that's in yeah, here? Yeah, I do. It's really, I really love, good. I idea. love this. That's what I like about because that. Because you know the sloppy joe cans you get sometimes that are yeah. sloppy joe mix? Mm -hmm. It's a little bit too tangy. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Too much like tomato. It. Too much tang. And this right. has oh. the perfect amount because I, I feel this the sweet. This tastes like how we used to make it at home, mm -hmm. but uh, this mm. is an easier way to do it. Very much so. Wow. Yeah. How nice is that? Yeah. You know what? You give me the idea now. What's that? You know, you make stuffed peppers all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's find different things we can stuff peppers oh, with. that's a good idea. Like, put sure. chili in a pepper. Yeah. Right. Why not? Why not? We can pepper. make lots of different things with stuffed peppers. Yeah, you might be able to do your hot dog. You put a hot dog in there. I'll, I'll do hot dog. dog. Put a hot dog in a pepper. I'm going to serve that to Kelly tomorrow. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Chop different it up things. real fine and put some rice I'm in there. I'm going to puree it. Put some, <laughs> put some <laughs> no pureed hot dogs. I'm going to puree some terrible. hot dogs and, and put might that in well, the right? pepper. Well, you don't even have to tell me it's in there, right? It's like you won't even know, but it'll be delicious, guys. Just make it like baby food. Okay. Never wrong with using your imagination. That is so true. I'm just saying. This is really delicious, Trav. I like it, I love I love the sloppy joe. First time trying it from here, and yeah. I'll be getting that. And tacos. Easy love the tacos. Easy. Very easy peasy. Thank you for making our life well, easy. Well, you're welcome. Glad and to be saving part us of some it. money yeah. and having some local meat here. It's sure. all great. Good to see you. All right, when we come back, we're headed to Flat Creek in Republic. Don't go away. We'll mm. be right back. I mean, see this. Bite, what is yeah. the content of this? This looks good. Mm.